Okay, so let's try this again. Welcome to Clippers Organic Acres. And I'm actually here this time. I'm not in Vancouver. I made it. Um, Clippers is surprisingly not too different from Amara Farm. They both do market vegetables. They both sell primarily at farmer's markets. Um, the biggest difference I've noticed is size. Um, Amara Farm was two and a half acres in production and this is closer to 50. So that's about 20 times the size. Um, another way of uh, thinking about it is at Amara Farm, most of the rows were about 50 feet and the real long ones were 100 feet and I, I didn't like the long ones because they took a long time. And here the rows are 250 feet, so yeah, it's another scale. Um, to give you another example, I was pruning those tomatoes uh, last week. You remember pruning tomatoes in the greenhouse at Amara? So that was, I don't know, probably eight rows of 50 feet. Um, and this is, well, if they're 250 foot rows, the greenhouse is like a, a row and a half. And I think there's, yeah, call it 10 rows of tomatoes there. So it takes a lot more time. Um, and the difference is here we have a lot more help. Um, we have about a dozen uh, Jamaicans, temporary foreign workers that uh, come and help on the farm every year. Um, so I've been working with them and uh, learning from them. And um, I guess, uh, yeah, doing some cultural learning. There's definitely a cultural gap and a language gap and a class gap and a racial gap. Um, and I, uh, on my first day here, I sort of showed up and said, hey, I'm here to help. And they sort of looked at me like, who are you? I don't think they knew I was coming. Um, so, uh, yeah, I helped clear a greenhouse and I helped um, make some apple nuggets. And then people went home because it was raining. And I guess uh, it's hard to work on the farm when it's raining. Um, and that was my first day with the Jamaicans. Um, and then the second day, the weather was nicer. I showed up um, at eight o'clock um, and uh, we got to work on the farm and I pretty much worked a full day with them. And then I think day three, we did those tomatoes. By the end of the day three, I got a thumbs up from one of the guys. So I was like, okay, that feels good. I'm not a complete idiot. Um, but uh, yeah, reaching out across cultures is not easy. And I'm learning that. So the thing I learned this week was thinning apples. And um, yeah, I don't know exactly why you thin apples, but we've got to take like two thirds of these off. Uh, you take off more than you leave on. And you're basically just, I guess, leaving space for them to grow so that when they size up, they're not touching, they're not going to pass diseases to each other. And I assume, um, you know, the apples will get bigger if there's less apples to put energy into. So I'm just gonna pick off. You basically leave one of each, uh, each bunch and you sort of leave maybe that much space between them. To me, it feels like you take off a lot, but uh, they kept coming back to me and telling me, no, no, take more off. So um, I guess uh, that's how you do it. Anyway, uh, welcome to Clippers. I'm sure there'll be lots of adventures here. Um, you can subscribe and follow me on those adventures uh, by subscribing to the YouTube channel. Um, you can learn more about uh, The Hands That Feed Us, uh, the documentary film I'm making while I'm here at thehandsthatfeedus.ca. And you can follow us on Facebook and Instagram. So see you next week.